Today we are taking a look at the Asus ROG Spada gaming mouse. It's the latest gaming mouse from a company best known for their PC hardware. But Asus Republic of Gamers series released several really good mice, so let's see what the Asus Spada can offer. Right off the bat the Spada looks different. And to be entirely honest it looks cool. It's not a cheesy look, it's not a cheap look, it's a really cool high-tech look that will wow everyone who will go around your table and see it on your desk. Plus subjectively it looks really good on footage. The side buttons are like nothing else on the market and the LED backlighting glows around their edges making the thing look like an evil AI prop that would look quite the part in a sci-fi series, not on your desk. The Spada definitely is one of the most expensive gaming mouse out there but it does offer some impressive features for your cache. This includes functioning in both wireless or wired modes, an eye-catching charging dock, also 12 reprogrammable buttons with varying degrees of utility depending on their location, a high-performance sensor that you can tweak like crazy with 8200 dpi, 150 inches per second of tracking, 30 g's of acceleration and a 2000 hz polling rate when using the wired mode. It also has RGB lighting of course with three zones on the mouse you can adjust separately. And the features just keep on coming as the Spada includes a braided and a rubber cable, a sturdy carrying case, a star head screwdriver and finally two replacement arm on switches if the clickiness of the default ones doesn't really match your preference. Maybe if they were trying to justify the cost they should have gone all the way in with swappable buttons, panels and other parts to allow for more flexibility of the mouse itself so you can adjust the shape of it. But that's not really my biggest problem with the product and that is the bulkiness. It is really shockingly heavy, it's like a brick. It was an impression that was confirmed by several other gamers that I asked if it is me who is strange or is the mouse really just abnormally heavy. The grippy feature does help you keep hold of the mouse which mitigates the weight issue somewhat and the smooth teflon feet mounted on the magnesium alloy bottom plate do a good job of keeping the mouse sliding freely on a variety of surfaces but to me it is just too heavy. The Spada is definitely made for big hands and features both a modest thumb scoop on the left and a cutout rest for the finger on the right. I have really average sized hands and Spada was never really quite comfortable for me, partly because of its size and partly because of its shape that is very angular and doesn't really conform to the shape of the hand. Also the side buttons on the Spada are pretty weird, they are not in any sort of order, they are not divided by rows or columns, they are not put in a circular form, they just seem to be positioned randomly and it doesn't feel natural at all. But then again all of these 2 minutes of whining about the shape are personal preference and your experience may vary. On the other hand the performance was spotless, the sensor never lagged out, the clicks of all the buttons are responsive and tactile, while the wireless performance seemed to be identical to the wired. To summarize the product in a few words, it is a premium gaming mouse that is meant for people who really like bricks in their hands as far as the weight goes and angular shapes as far as the shape goes, while simultaneously having almost 200 euros of budget for a mouse. So if that's you, then the Asus ROG Spada is perfect for you, but if not, do look elsewhere. Thanks for watching this review on Discharge Networks, don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel.